so good morning indeed. It is wonderful to because I leave and I breathe. And yet again today I'm gonna grow. And yet again today I'm gonna learn. To be a model means to not really know what is coming, nor when. I have started to condition my every morning to expect anything and to be ready in the event of a last minute job or casting. Now, most of the time I wait until the day is over and then start afresh, day after day. And so that is what I want to show, apart from the excitement of my activities, the reality of the weight, development of the character, in patience, in endurance. For a long time, I have waited passively, and then I learned to make the most of this time, spiritually and creative. I have to leave in a little less than two hours, um, and the casting I actually have today is a go-see. A go-see is when you go to see either a director, a photographer, or someone who, can, um, who has projects in the future, but they are looking generally not very specifically like at a casting at a casting is for a specific job but this is for multiple projects and just to have you in their minds for future projects um some go sees involve doing a little shooting uh like a very like short one maximum one hour some other go sees don't but i have to choose some outfits for that uh, my agent said to bring cool outfits so i'm thinking to wear a tie I always wear my tie with this. Right. I don't know if the pictures are going to be in my book, but you can never know. Also, I never bring my book. Now clients are not looking at it during castings. It's so rare. Look at that. There it is. So I have this. And I wanted to wear this, this skirt. So I have this look. Let's not do it again. But I love a good shirt. So is that a yes? Absolutely not. These trousers are already in my book as well. And also, I wore them for my birth hours. <laughs> They're so nice. They're one of my favorite. Look at this. How pretty is this? I was thinking the skirts. So the thing with the skirt is that you can drape. Like if I'm sitting down, and I'm like, I can bring it and see. Right. I think I'll do this. I have my outfits. Correct? Yeah, that was fucking old. Like, some people that are with their mask and I'm like, oh. They're like, people take off their thing and they look at me and they're like, you have a mustache? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so true. You never know, like... I mean, I can try. Okay, I think I can try. Can you do it with me? Subjects of my 
video this time. <laughs> those images oh my goodness as always I just don't have a clue I just don't know what's coming it could be that the whole of this week I'm busy it could be that nothing else happens but um, well I'm here I'm available and I'm making myself available though I did not check my emails today once which I should have because you never know I could have a casting somewhere else an actual casting but we'll see for now I'm just going to eat because I'm hungry. Most of the time, I'm waiting for opportunities. Most of the time, I have options, they get cancelled. I get refusals, or I get nothing. But for me to trust, for me to have an assured reliance on the character of God, his ability, his strength, his truth, and to not waver in it, because quietness, to be quiet in it all, to just not divert myself, not distract myself, be focused. That is where my strength lies. So far, I have not received any email. There's no news. There could be bad news too. Next week, I have an option for the whole week for Sam Edelman. You know, the same brand for which I went to Miami. It had been an option for months, and in September, I had the same kind of option and it got cancelled. And I was shaken, for sure. But I'm secure. Because to trust also means security. No matter what the news, no matter what the absence of news, no matter what the void, I'm fine. And that is my strength.
So that is how I spend my time. The abundance of time which I have as a model right now in this stage of my life. At first I was playing The Sims a lot. I was watching a lot of videos on YouTube, social media, movies, series. And when I started to become intentional, truly pursue it, I first became aware of what can be toxic. For example, social medias, videos, there can be ways you can compare yourself to these people or even aspire to the material things they have. Even if you admire them, why would they be your goal? Why would material be a goal? Maybe that is not what is for you in life. You might have the most perfect joy without all these things. You don't know what your path is. So I stopped focusing on these things. Okay, well, I watch less movies, blah, blah, blah. I was still playing The Sims a lot and I was doing things that are not toxic per se. But then I realized they are hollow. From the moment I stopped doing this, I was just faced with boredom. Boredom is scary, but don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to face yourself, to face your own thoughts, because this is how you're gonna know yourselves. And when we are ugly, we have to look in the mirror and do something about it. And so I got this idea about cooking I got to meditate so much more and grow as a result to focus on what matters. And so all this time, which I have, which is the biggest part of my job, in fact, doesn't bring any money, but this is what I face most days. What I once thought was somewhat of a curse or rather somewhat of a misfortune is in fact a blessing. I was speaking with my dad this morning and he said that my job is like the weather or like rain. It's going to come, just don't know when. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, actually, even if it doesn't rain for a long time, I personally, because I don't trust in myself and I don't look at myself for success, for prosperity, for care, I know that even if it doesn't rain, even if it's a drought for multiple months, I will never like anything because I trust God to take care of me so long as I make him first. This is how I live my day to day, my life as a model, truly.